And then for, as far as fuel cells, um, I, the degree to which California continues to disproportionately support them frustrates me and always has. At the same time, given the volumes that are out there, it's not necessarily the hill I want to die on. I think actually Honda and Hyundai might end up killing fuel cells and they don't even know it yet. But the main competition for fuel cells is not EVs, it's decently electrified plug-in hybrids. And it, you know, the whole marketing pitch for hydrogen is long-range fast fueling, a volt is both of those things today. And the data's coming back, even on Gen 1, about 80% of trips were electric, Gen 2 it'll be 90, 95% of trips. And so now we have Honda and Hyundai who are each making one car in three flavors. The two on the ends, the fuel cell and the EVs will be compliance cars, the one in the middle, the plug-in hybrid, is gonna be the volume one. And at least Honda, it's gonna be very much Volt-like in terms of range. So when you're comparing those two vehicles, I get that CARB is obsessed with the last 10%, but any average consumer who isn't quite ready to go full EV yet is going to suck it up and buy a little gas now and then <laughs> and call it a day.